Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> we are witnessing in real time, and funny enough, I probably chose the best time ever to stop playing this game, but we are witnessing in real time the greatest fumble slash collapse of a a video game company that I think I have ever seen. And that is saying something because I've seen quite a few companies over the last few years uh, disappear. The creators of Kingdom of Amalur shut down because of uh, shitty handling from, um, uh, what was his name? Uh, Kurt Schilling. Uh, you had the collapse of Visceral in regards to the Dead Space Makers. But this right here, this right here is interesting because there are so many elements that have essentially happened that led up to this. And before we even get into the article, let's do a quick jog down memory lane, okay? We are talking about Destiny, the biggest looter shooter on any platform. And I know a lot of people will point to other looter shooters in the genre, Yes, those other looter shooters exist in the genre. But in regards to the king that everyone has been chasing for years, hoping that they create a, 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 a destiny killer in order to overcome it, Bungie and Destiny have sat on top of this space. Have other players entered this space and been allowed to exist? Absolutely. fucking -lutely. Uh, Division 2, uh, Warframe, currently seeing that with First Descendants, and a bunch of other free-to-play looter shooter games that have existed in the space. But for just as many that have existed in the space now, there are three to four times the number that have flown in and utterly collapsed within the first week because no one could get away from their addiction to this game. It is interesting to watch the turmoil that I remember going through in regards to playing this game. From Destiny 1 launching without a story, to the poor reception of um, the, the Dark... The, was it the Dark Below? I think it was called the Dark Below. In regards to Crota, the better reception in regards to House of Wolves, the fantastic reception in regards to the Taken King... Um, then we had the Rise of Iron, which followed that up, which was also fantastic, followed by the beautiful, uh, Year of Triumph that brought back all the old raids and added new, uh, systems to those raids and added new armor for you to chase so you can be dripped out in the tower to the absolute shit fest dumpster fire that was the, the, the vanilla launch of Destiny 2 to the absolute shit fest that was the Warmind and um, uh, Curse of Osiris into the mwah, beautiful rebirth that was Forsaken that led to... Okay, what the hell came after Forsaken? After Forsaken was... Um, oh, it was the sucky one. The one that I always forget exists. Uh, what was it called? Um, uh, the one on the moon with the nightmares. I don't even remember the name of that expansion. That's insane. I don't remember the name of that expansion. Hold on, 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 hold on. Hold on. It's crazy. I still have the Destiny 2 charts up. Uh Destiny 2 expansion. I can't remember the name of that one. But it definitely happened on the moon. Shadow Keep. There we go. I completely forgot about Shadow Keep because it's bad. Uh, followed by the lukewarm reception to Beyond Light, the fantastic reception to the Witch Queen, the the, the, the dumpster fire that was Lightfall, and the fine, the, 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 the fine, the fantastic finale that was the final shape. It has been a journey for people that play Destiny and enjoy Destiny. We have been there at the heights of the season passes, such as the season of opulence, and we have been there at the absolute fucking lows of the season passage, such as, uh, um, uh, what was that, Season of the Seraph? Uh, the one that had us do the stuff for Rasputin with the, 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 the mini games that we had to essentially play where we helped build the constructs and he helped us. 
We've been through it all. But as we've gone through it all, we have always shifted blame. One time it's Activision, then it's no longer Activision, it's this this other party over here, and then Bungie came in control, and then we started blaming Bungie, but then it wasn't really Bungie's fault, it was like this other person's fault over here, and then we kind of rotated back to Bungie because they didn't have anybody else to deflect the blame to in any way, shape, or form. But at one point in time, the community realized that the people who were fucking up this game the call was coming from inside the house that the people at the top. And I always harp on this were the worst people to have at the top in the creation of this game for how much we want to, to laud Luke Smith for giving us the taken King. He's also the person responsible for vanilla destiny Two. He's also the person responsible for sunsetting and it's fucking ironic that Sony swooped in and sunset Luke Smith. That shit is hilarious to me. And that's never going to stop being hilarious to me in any way, shape or form in regards to Mark Noseworthy. He falls into that exact same fucking category for all the great things that he has done. He is still one of the people on the table that was responsible for the massive reset that was destiny Two when it was not needed. In my opinion, Destiny 2 was never needed. Building upon the original Destiny and expanding the universe from there with all the original planets and adding in the new ones was a better direction to go in than scrapping everything that people built up and then having them restart. It's the equivalent of this. It's literally equivalent of playing through the. <laughs> <laughs> and Warframe players know exactly what I'm talking about. It's like playing through the 800-hour introduction tutorial to fucking Warframe, beating that, getting to around the new war, and having the new war go, yeah, everything you just did doesn't matter. All the Warframes that you just earned, they don't matter. You have to earn completely new Warframes, and then you have to repurchase the ones that you've essentially lost, and you've got to level them up all over again. They were lucky that they did not instantaneously kill and cripple their fucking game just off of that decision alone. But then you have Pete Parsons, who who sold who sold Sony a dream. He sold Sony a dream that Destiny was the greatest looter shooter, a uh, 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 free-to-play model creators out there on the face of the planet. And he came in, and I'm not going to forgive this shit, was responsible for killing the multiplayer mode for The Last of Us came in there spoke to the people at naughty dog and was like yeah dog this isn't it while his house was on fire because if i remember correctly when the multiplayer for naughty dog was canceled it was around the exact same time the community was in open fucking revolt in regards to lightfall or it might have been in regards to the seasons leading up to lightfall and then lightfall itself absolute fucking dumpster fire when that had occurred but there's a there, there 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 there's a level of cruel humor that he took 2.5 billion dollars from sony under this idea that sony was purchasing this this billion dollar game creator who was about to get into all these different spaces such as tv shows and comics and that this 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 game creator understood what needed to go into the special sauce to to, to rake in that money in regards to the free-to-play genre and they got nothing absolutely fucking nothing what they got was fleeced sony got fleeced they got fleeced by p parsons he delivered absolutely nothing but chaos well what he got delivered was 2.5 million dollars worth of cars to his fucking mansion what he got delivered was 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 a a a, a healthy bonus every single year for failing to meet the metrics that Sony basically set down for him to meet. What he basically achieved was probably crippling and killing one of the biggest video game creators in the live service space currently. Crippling the entire fucking studio. Firing 220 employees. 
sitting down in his big boy chair with all of Bungie on fire with people either thinking about leaving because they don't want to be surprise fired one day when they walk in or people who are just sick of the absolute fucking nonsense and just want to go work somewhere else. Everything on fire, sitting in his big boy chair saying, well, they can't fire me because I'm the guy that makes the magic happen. Sir. You are not the guy that makes the magic happen. You are the guy that kills the magic. You are the white people in um oh what 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 was that what was that show? Lovecraft Country. You're the white guy in Lovecraft Country who has no magic, who has no fucking talent, but siphons that shit from his employees and then and then rubs it on his skin so that he can glisten and shine like 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 Xerxes out of 300 and pretend that he is in some way shape or form doing something because the argument that we've had for the last 10 years is that the live service team wants to cook but the reason why the live service team can't cook is because they were afraid they weren't going to be able to monetize it we can't give them this because how do we monetize and make money off of that? We can't give them what they want. We can't give them that. Because how do we monetize and make money off of that? How do we chop this thing up that you want to create and charge the player base? Oh, dungeons are a part of season passes? Take the dungeons out and, and dungeons are now $10 and separate. Oh, this was supposed to be free because it's armor that you that you earn in game. Take that armor out of there and shove it into the season pass and put it at reward track 75 up to 100. You want this thing over here? You want a reprised raid? Let's move the reprised raid out of this and we're going to slap it into something else further on down the line because that shit ain't going to be free we're not just going to surprise you with this shit anymore this will be studied the fall off that i feel is about to happen especially with the news that we've essentially gotten in regards to the fact that <laughs> they're moving away from expansions and they're now going to free-to-play content packs where there won't be a seasonal story anymore. There will only be two season passes for the year or two content pack drops for the year. And everything else, for the most part, will be free to play. Not even Warframe does that. Like, Warframe will be like, all right, guys, you know, next year we're dropping this major thing, telling this major story over here, and we've got a bunch of content things that are going to be happening throughout the year. And, yes, it's free to play because we expect you guys to come in, and, you know, it's basically the cosmetic store and the new Warframes that we drop is, you know, how we make our money along with the people inside the community who are selling things and making their own silver and trading it. We're moving to a worse model than the Warframe model. Like, imagine if Warframe did two things every year. They dropped the new season pass, and they dropped one new Warframe. That's it. No story stuff. No new missions. Nothing. Just a season pass, an intro mission to whatever the content is for the season. No new story stuff. No new expansions. Nothing major. They just did that every single year. From launch until now, Warframe would not be here. If that is a plan that the the, the first descendants probably trying to do or deciding to go on, they won't they won't last. They won't be here. That's what this that's that is what Division has basically been doing on life support for the last three years. And there's probably like fifty people still playing that game. And like like it has a really really small niche community. How hard of a fall off needs to occur? before destiny is no longer solvent before you start looking around and they start going holy shit we can no longer keep this studio open before bungie just ends up being absorbed by sony proper it's around the corner it's definitely around the corner especially with the fall off that we're seeing now after the final shape oh yeah we're almost there